Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to export an RDL report in a WPF application using the Bold Reports Report Writer. The Report Writer is a class library that lets users export reports defined in RDL format as PDF, Word, Excel, or CSV documents. It is mainly used to export reports without previewing them. Let's get started. First, let me show you how to create a WPF application. Open Visual Studio 2022 and click Create a New Project. The Bold Reports WPF Report Writer Control supports WPF App.NET Framework and WPF App.NET Core. For this demo, I select the WPF App.NET Framework from the listed templates and click the Next button. I name my application WPF RDL Report Writer. Click the Create button and a default WPF application is created. Next, let me install the necessary NuGet packages in the application. Right click the project in the Solution Explorer tab and choose Manage NuGet Packages. In the Browse tab, search for the boldreports.wpf package and install it in the application. Next, I create a folder named Resources in the root folder of my application. This is where all the RDL reports are stored. For this video, I will add the sales order detail.rdl file to the resources folder. You will find this file's downloadable link in this video's description. Next, I need to change some properties for the added report. I open the property panel. Under the advanced section, I set the build action to content and copy to output property to copy if newer. Next, let me initialize the report writer control. Open the main window.xaml file and add the WPF window named WPF writer with a fixed size centered on the screen and a single border. Then copy the code with that selection option and the button from the documentation and paste it in the grid tag. Next, I must add the API method to generate the exported document. Open the main window.xaml.cs file and include all the necessary using statements for referencing and classes and namespaces defined within these namespaces. Next, I add the button click method to export the report. In the created method, I add the try and catch section for handling the exception that occurs while exporting the report. Then, I create a variable named report path, assign the path value that has the reports, and create a variable to store the file name and export format for the exported file. Then, I create an object for the bold report writer and pass the report path to it. Then, copy this code from the documentation and paste it into the button click method. It determines the file format for saving the sales order details report and sets corresponding values for the file name and format based on the chosen format. I export the report using report writer.save and pass the file format that needs to be generated by the writer. Then I add the code that prompts the user to view a file in a specific format and opens it with the default application if the user chooses yes in a message box. Next, register the license token to remove the license validation message. In this demo, I am going to use the online license token. License tokens can be generated in the subscription section of the Bold Reports Accounts page. I open the app.xaml.cs file. Then, add the constructor for the app class and enter the code snippet to register the license token in the app constructor. I have provided the link to a video on registering a license using online license tokens and offline license keys in this video's description. Now, everything is ready to load the report writer. I build and run the application. 
A window will open, and you will see the option to select the export file type and the generate button. I click the generate button. And the dialog will open for confirmation. After confirmation, the report will be exported, and it will open as a PDF file. If you want the report in Word format, select that option. And then click the Generate button. You will see the report exported and opens as a Word document. In this demo, you saw how to create a WPF application and configure the report writer to export an RDL report. I have provided a documentation link in the description below for the steps that were followed in this video. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.